What's up guys, welcome back to this video. You guys have been asking for this, and well, here it is. A new hardcore series. And guess what, we are going to play in 1.17, the famous cave update with some really awesome and new features, and I am excited to see what will happen. But I can promise you one thing, this will be one of the most awesome series I have ever made. But let's start at the very beginning. Okay, see what we spawned. Ooh. Uh, yeah, you know, let, let's just start this by punching wood. The epic gamer FOV. Let's just gather up some stone tools. I have no idea what the season is gonna bring us. I'm excited. You guys should be excited. And we dump this. Now, it's very important that we find a cave, I guess. I mean, it's 1.17 after all. The cave update. And I want some sheep for wool. Hold up. I think we found something here. And we definitely did. That's uh, a very, very great start. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna take this. <gasps> That's just pure joy right there. Man, this spawn is lucky. Do they have any hay bills here? That'd be nice. Oh, I, I don't even know what to say. This is the best start to a season ever. And you know what's got to be done? Yes. Do we, do we need to say any more, guys? I mean, we, we didn't need those, but thanks for the backup ones, I guess. Ooh, that's the cave. We're definitely gonna explore that. What double doors? Okay, that's that's new. And I will take that, you know? It, it, yeah, I won't kill you for iron, don't worry. What is this? This village is super, super big as well. I mean, maybe not super big, but it's it's quite big. And I like, I like blue bed better. It's time to go caving then. I mean, I I don't know what else I, I would need. Some animals would be nice. Oh, just doing what I need to do. Let's gather up some food. Oh, he just grew up. I, I don't know what this double door action is, but I do know there's a second floor here with even more potatoes. I will bake some potatoes as well. These campfires are actually kind of useful. They don't take any, any coal or anything to burn. I just want to make some charcoal, make some torches before I go into the cave. And maybe for that I need to uh, kill some more trees. It has been a really solid start, I am not going to deny that. Like, I don't know how far we can get this episode, but the future is bright. I'm, I'm always a bit afraid of iron golems. I know they are friendly, but like, I, I don't want to hit them accidentally. 44 torches for now. Now let's try to get some iron tools. There are no mobs here, luckily. I do hear them, and I do see something Hello? oh and i'm oh iron golem where's where's iron golem boy where you need him come on man don't just stand there Daddy. was that a dungeon by the way they're not gonna stop they're not gonna stop spawning so we need to rush in i'm just gonna block this off for the time being and how did we just find a dungeon on day one on a random city what what is going on? I find a village right at the start. I, I find a dungeon with an enchanted golden apple in a chest with music discs. With two music discs. I'm sorry, there, there's nothing to say here. An enchanted golden apple. I just need a moment to process this, okay? I think it might not be a bad idea to get a chest with some stuff, maybe. Or stuff I don't really need right now, but I will need in the future. Raw iron. Do you check that in a furnace as well? Because I don't think you can craft anything with that, can you? Nope. No, I didn't do anything. With raw copper. I don't really know what to do with copper. I do not like a mine shaft. I'm just gonna be very careful, guys. So raw iron turns into iron ingots. Which I can then use to craft my iron tools. And I think for now, I'm just gonna skip this mine shift. I just don't like this. Like, I really, really don't. I got some copper ingots, and I got no clue what to do with copper. Yeah. <laughs> we do have full iron armor and gear, and that's perfect. We got plenty of food. I think it might be time to make a base. Yes, what kind of house do I want to make? I have no clue. I mean, it is the cave update, after all. So maybe a cave house would be fun or nice. My inventory is just getting cluttered at this point. And what the hell is that? What is this? It does look cool. Let's follow the river and see if we can find anything. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait a minute! That do be the close quite right. It doesn't it isn't really glowing though. So that's kinda of, kinda of sad. We we gotta save him. I'm a good man. No. As I was saying though, let's find a good place to set up camp. Oh, there's the black head. 
don't really know how to call it yet, but we'll get there. Imagine just making this cave a home, but I'm not sure yet. I'm not convinced. Let's uh, let's keep looking. Is that a ruined portal? <laughs> Maybe there's a cool place to make home. Let's try it. Hey! No! 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 no. I, I saved my first quail. I'm just gonna gather up some resources and I'm gonna try and make some sort of base out of this cave. I don't know how it's gonna be, but I do know I got enchanted golden apple and so we're good. Okay, that's um, <laughs> interesting. I think this is a big enough space for now. And we can always expand, like that's that's the best part about this. Now the hard part is gonna be decorating it. Hmm. I really hope to find some axolotls as well, because they do be really cute. Just like you are. Maybe I shouldn't be saying that. Let's give them a fish. And of course, I cannot forget this. And yes, I'm struggling here because I don't know what to do, but we'll figure it out eventually. I think that's good for an entrance, right? At least for now. With the limited tools we have. And maybe it's time to chop some more trees. And the best part is that we live close to the squids, you know? No, no, no. You gotta try. You gotta try. Just get, get the other way, man. I think we saved squid number two. not gonna lie, I have a kind of hard time transforming this into a place I call my home. I'm not really sure what to do with the ceiling just yet. Oh, hello there. Spidery boy and creeper. Is this the first creeper I see? What the hell? That's pillagers, aren't they? Kinda don't wanna kill the guy with the banner. We got him, except... We now have the effect. This is gonna be the storage corner, I think. And that's gonna provide us with plenty of chests. Going to be my main crafting area and stuff. And we're probably gonna make an enchanting table like somewhere in the future. But yes, what I wanted to do is go mining. Once again, because why not? I just want to get some more resources and hopefully find some diamonds as well. And I kind of want to find an axolotl. I really heard some villagers. Like, I'm... Um, we here again? <laughs> Bow. <gasps> That's the axolotl. My man. How do you freaking tame those? Oh, you need to catch your mini bucket. Come here. Come here. No, 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 no. I think we did it. I think we did it. They better don't die here. He does seem kind of dead. Is he friendly now? Like, is he... Oh. Oh. That's so cool. I didn't know you can just find them in there. So you can breed them with a tropical fish. So I'm just gonna do this so he doesn't drown. Because that would suck. Man, there are so many. They just spawn here. I'm just scared they will despawn. So I'm just gonna say this. I don't want to keep them in here. I definitely don't. But I just don't want them to despawn. And then it was time to go mining once again. And I don't really know what this is. We just found a second spawner. So I'm not really sure how to find diamonds exactly. Man, these caves are absolutely insane. Oh, that's gold, isn't it? It is. I want diamond armor. I don't feel safe in these caves. Listen to this. Listen to this, guys. That's kind of disgusting. <clears throat> yeah, to be honest, I couldn't stay in the caves any longer with those disgusting rocks. That's why I mined up to the surface. I feel bad, but I... I, I... Man, he... Why are you killing them squids, man? We came back with a lot of stuff, but no diamonds. And maybe we should just sort this out. 
just maybe. What I do want to do is put protection on my chest plate. And yes, maybe I'll be wasting a, a perfectly good book, but I don't want to die. It's just a little bit extra. I think I'll just sort this real quick. Well, one thing is for sure, we definitely did not need this, this many chests. That having said, let's uh, go for diamonds now. Cat, you just stay here. I hope I'll be back with diamonds. Maybe some extra wood cannot hurt. Now I know that diamonds can be easily found in caves, but the big problem is that we don't have night vision. Oh, and my pickaxe broke. Well, if you can find diamonds here, I mean, I'm, I'm down. Yeah, I don't think there are diamonds here. I do have a feeling that finding diamonds has become a lot harder. And I'm scared of caves. What? Why? I don't want the babies. These caves just don't end. That's the thing. It just goes and goes and goes. Just going to uh, <coughs> continue digging. What the hell? It's a bedrock. We're at freaking level 5. What? That's not where bedrock is supposed to be, is it? What? I'm so confused. I thought 1.70 went way deeper, right? I don't even know what to say. Then how am I supposed to find diamonds? We don't care. What the hell is that? Glow ink tech. Oh, that comes from the from the glow squid. How did that end up here? Don't know what you can make with that though. Should be able to find diamonds here, right? Nope. <gasps> With these huge caves, you would expect to see at least a little bit of diamonds, right? What the hell is that? Show me away! Mate, what are you doing here? I don't want you to die. Uh. You do be trying to swim up. Oh man, he's gonna die. He's gonna- No! No! <laughs> okay, so I am playing on a snapshot. And I think that is the reason why there's bedrock. But I'm not leaving without finding diamonds, so maybe we should be strip mining then. Got him! That looks so nice. Ooh, almost missed that one. Got him! Ten diamonds. That if we can get a little bit more would be nice. What? But this bed, this bed. I was about to eat golden apple, but I guess we're kinda, kinda okay. I do want to check out this cave, and there are some diamonds. Look how cool this looks. Lots of mob noises, though. Well, at least, you know, we got 12 of those beautiful blue shiny thingies. Well, now we can continue exploring this cave in the pursuit of finding more diamonds. Yeah, you didn't see that coming, huh? There are a lot more caves and ravines, so I don't think you need to, like, strip mine anymore. Of course, it's still the safest way. Well, at least 12 diamonds. I think we did a great job. And now we need to somehow get back to where we came from. We're just gonna continue through mining to find some more diamonds. I'd like to make a chest plate, a pickaxe and a sword. Almost there, I'd say. I do have a feeling that gold is way less rare than it used to be. And then I think we need to focus on getting a fortune pickaxe so we can get full diamond armor quite quickly. Oh! Did I just miss that? I did. 18 diamonds. I think that's plenty for now. And we do need to do some farming I see. We're just getting an army of those. With these beautiful diamonds, I can make a diamond pickaxe. And just for the extra protection, I'm gonna... Also make a chest plate or a diamond sword. I guess we make a diamond sword. And the best part is that we now can make a jukebox. Well, after that successful mining trip, it was finally time to get an enchanting table. And 
And there's this very important thing we need to get first in order to make one, which is leather. Now you see, before we can start farming the cows, we kind of also need to grow weeds. So let's start with that. Oh, I still haven't taken the gold block. But yeah, we have a lot of available space for us here. To make a farm, to breed some animals as well. Wait. That's possible? How is that possible? It's getting ridiculous. Well, I think our goodies box looks amazing after the first episode. But we can try and make an attempt to look for a cow. It do be storming outside though. Can you simply say this is gonna be the place for the cows? We do need one wheat to at least lure them in. Because if we bone meal this... Oh, that makes a sound now? Oh, that's so much better. Time to go look for some cows. Uh, I think we have most luck this way. At least there are some, some piggies here. Okay, that's number one. Floating grass. And what happened here exactly? Oh, and there's some wolves. Hold up, can we, can we tame one of them? We just did that. That's them cows. And now we gotta get back home. With my four cows following me. You guys vibing? Wait, didn't we have five cows? Well, whatever. But on that note, guys, I think I'm going to end the episode. We got really far. We have some really good tools, good armor already. Got a little farm, got some cows. And some really, really cute axolotls inside. I don't know what, what else you want, basically, for the first episode. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and let me know what I should do for next episode and what I should do for this series as a total as well. Have a great day.